So here's my story. And if you're anything like me, you may be able to relate. As a child, I definitely struggled with self-image, my self-worth, feeling like I was kind of the ugly one in the family. Um, but yet I was kind of funny and outgoing. But still in the back of my mind, I definitely struggled with who I was, how I looked, especially in comparison to my family. And I can definitely say that my weight was one of my biggest issues, one of my biggest challenges. And it made me very self-conscious, very self-aware. And it did not help that I had a mom who was extra sexy, well-dressed. Um, everybody kind of identify her as being the sexy mom and cute and so forth. And then I felt like there was me. As I got older, I still continued to struggle with weight. I still continued to struggle with body image, how I looked, how I spoke, how I dressed, all of that became a part of my identity. As I got older, I became even more self-conscious, especially when I went off to college. And you're surrounded by different people, different body types, different styles, different views, all of that. Once I graduated, life continued to happen and scary things started to happen with it. I got pregnant for the first time, which I was very shocked about. Then I told my Achilles tendon, while I was pregnant and did not know at this time. Yeah, he did. He he liked it because he got attention for the first like um, three days. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got a cast, you know. And then after that, he was over. Then we lost the baby, which was one of the hardest times of my life. Everything seems kind of distant, unsure, uncertain, and with that came weight increase that did not seem to really budge. Challenges with self-image, of course. Slowly and surely, I started to maneuver through life. We bought a house, which I was so happy for. We were able to successfully have our son, Jai. And this time, the roller coaster started once again. Losing weight, gaining weight. 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 Then I found the start solution. It changed my whole outlook. My whole outlook what I eat, how I ate, the vibrancy in my meals, how I felt about myself. The weight loss came off, slowly but surely, my self-image started to change dramatically. So this is our first meal here. We have French toast, what is this, Brussels sprouts? You want the French toast? Okay. okay. As time progressed, I fell in love with working out, especially rebounding. That became kind of like my ride or die. <laughs> Working out in my garage became my thing. I got rid of my membership, started to invest in my own equipment, and really vibe with my own beat, and started to really fully align with who I was and who I was becoming. So, as you can imagine, the weight started to come off. I was happier, I was clearer, but yet still figuring out who I was. Um, yeah, so, I feel like today is one of those days where I am, I'm really proud of myself for not focusing on what I'm eating, blah, blah. I'm just doing my daily things. I started to dress different, feel different, look different, view myself as sexy, outgoing, have fun with my style, even when it made me feel a little bit uncomfortable, allow a little bit more of my skin to show out, even though I have a lot of marks. But it happened. I also joined a dynamic coaching program which changed my life and changed my outlook. My entire view changed of everything I ever knew, of everything I ever thought. I started to shift my paradigm. I started to get praise that was actually a little bit uncomfortable for me and it still is at times, but I'm learning to embrace that. My body, mind, and space change. But to be honest, I'm still learning. I'm still learning about what I need to do for my body because the honest truth is that my weight fluctuates. It goes up and down, around and around, all type of different ways. I'm constantly battling my mindset, constantly trying to figure out, okay, am I on the right track? Why isn't the weight off yet? Is it ever gonna get off? Is it gonna come back? Am I gonna be able to keep it off? But even in those moments, I'm learning to focus more on life. What life has to offer, my friends, my family, being able to go out for dinner and just vibe, 
taking a trip and not worrying about counting calories and oh my gosh, how much am I going to eat? And trust me, this is still something that I'm still battling with. <sighs> this way, sad. Check out my website, guys. I'm going to link it in the description box. Woo! So, I purchased High Carb Hannah's Monthly Menu. Um, interesting, interesting little fact is uh, High Carb Hannah is how I got to transition to vegan nism vegan food 10 10 or 12 years ago um i was also introduced to the book at that time too but i was too nervous i was too scared to even try high carb um but yeah y'all it's just this is just now a i don't know weight release or weight loss is such an emotional thing it literally can feel like you're on a roller coaster ride and even when the ride is over it's like you still feel the the movement you know what i mean and like for me it's like i feel like even though i'm getting healthier my body is getting better my mind is getting better it still feels like yo am i there yet like am i ever gonna get there and i know that's that's a mindset thing too but that's just how it is to run and jump and dance like never before. Health is a state of complete harmony of the body, mind, and spirit. I've always heard that true beauty comes from within, but it wasn't until recently that I felt it. Um, I never know. I freaking stopped on the scale this morning and that thing was up <laughs> like 219. Um, in comparison to where I was so I gotta look and kind of dig deep and kind of see what things I've been doing incorrectly that I need to address but it's just so frustrating you understand what I'm saying The truth of the matter is any kind of health or weight loss journey it's an emotional one it's one that's filled with ups and downs figuring out what works for me what doesn't work for me and the truth of the matter is we have to figure it out for ourselves what worked for us what doesn't work for us what we need to tweak a little bit doing some trial and error figuring out things in a way that is beneficial for us beneficial for our mind our peace our health but also giving ourselves time, time to release the weight, time to get healthier, time to get better. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, just finished working out in our garage gym. And you know, like, I just have to keep kind of saying to myself, like, that this is really about me. And I'm excited to see kind of like, the difference that this new habit creates um, in me. Because I think sometimes we get so dependent on things, whether it's like food or people or a situation, we get very kind of like comfortable and dependent on that. But like what happens when we break that cycle, you know? And really and truly like to have something different, we have to do something different. So I'm doing something different. So I just finished, um, you know, that whole, like, what is it called? The, you walk for 30 minutes on the treadmill at level 12 and three, I forgot what the girl's name, who does it? Um, but I just did that for 20 minutes and I'm dripping in sweat. This is my second workout. And I just want to say like, I work out sometimes twice a day because I love moving my body. Like I love working at it. it doesn't feel like torture it doesn't feel like I'm forcing myself to do it um, when I do my weight training class with my trainer um, in the group class and sometimes I be oh god but other times I love it 
So the truth of the matter is, I can't really tell you how to lose weight. I can recommend the Star Solution because it definitely has changed my life. And what I will say is keep getting up, keep trying, keep pushing yourself, keep going for what it is that you want because eventually and surely you will get there.